Hey guys, I just came up with a new idea. Um, they, we have an electric pencil sharpener in this classroom. Um, but I remember when I was in grade school, we had to put our pencil in a wall mounted sharpener and hand crank it. Um, what else? Well, electric cars, right? Uh, every car I've ever owned has to burn fossil fuel to get down the road. What else have they electrified? The toothbrush. I'm thinking we need to make uh, the electric eraser. Who wants to go through the hassle of scribbling across their paper to erase when we could use a motor? So if we pull the eraser out of the pencil, mount it on the axle of our motor, then hopefully when we hook this one up, we can get it to spin fast enough to erase. So let's see. I'm just going to write something on my paper, whatever it is, and if we're lucky, if we can get this one to erase for us, ooh, let's see, oh, it's going, oh man, okay, don't steal my idea, or if you do, I want a big portion of the royalties. But what if we want to turn a ceiling fan? What if we want a lot more power than this, right? Um, that's an okay motor. Oh, that's an even better motor. It has all the same design, right? It's got an axle that it's mounted on. Here's the armature windings. These are the brushes. Okay, what's this thing the brush is contacting, right? The commutator. And on this one, there's a gap right there, and another gap 180 degrees. So at this moment in time, when the magnets are aligned and there's no torque, for a moment it shuts off, but its inertia carries it through, and for a half a turn it wants to align again with the magnets. And so this motor should spin just as well. I'm actually gonna increase the voltage on this one up to about, oh, a little over 11 volts. And let's see how this one performs. Oh yeah, much more power. 